Hello and welcome to this video where we take a look at the Windows Store experience coming in the Windows 10 anniversary update and this time we're going to take a look at this on the PC. On the on my last video I took the, I looked at the phone version of the Windows Store but I did mention that the Windows Store experience is exa exactly the same but in case you want to see the PC version here I have it right here. So this is this how what the store looks like. Uh, you have some featured apps um, and some top apps uh, and featured app category and some more featured apps here and then you have some uh, horizontally aligned applications with uh, apps picked we picked for users and, and some uh, and some uh, curated collections and top free and top top paid you could actually d dive in e in each of these uh, horizontal categories by clicking see all and you have some pictures so to introduce the collection and you have some top free apps you do that too and you could see a list of full apps in chronological order or actually in a highest to lowest order of top free apps and let's see what else we have uh, let's do check out some games now these are some of the games you could get so let's do a quantum break uh, this is interesting uh, so uh, now the app listing page is more exciting now you have some game screenshots and you could click see, see all to open up a new uh, pop-up window which will let you browse the screenshots of the game and then you have some backdrop here and you could buy the app buy the, uh, buy the app or game you choose the price here or open the great game sub this will launch the Xbox app we'll wait till this stuff happens in the background here you'll see some game clips and you could play it. These are clips shared by other people. Let's take a look at how about this one. So there. Uh, let's see what's this. Oh, that opens Edge for some reason. That's strange. Um, that opens Edge too. I don't, I don't understand why that is the case, but um. Here you'll see some features uh, description, and here you'll see some minimum system requirements, and it'll tell you whether we, whether your system has that requirement. You need a keyboard, yes, I check. You need a mouse, check. This was not a touch game. This is not a game designed for touch. There's some other notes. It says to see the minimum requirements. Uh, please visit this. Uh, so you need a good graphics card, actually, uh, of course. So obviously, because this requ is a requires dem demanding hardware to actually play. You have some related apps and some additional information here, including the age rating. And uh, you have some reviews, which you could filter to most helpful, more, most recent, highest rated, lowest rated, filter by, stars. You could see the review for this version only or lifetime reviews. You could switch from PC to other devices, but there's only PCs here. so. And you could see, and uh, just a quick note, this is actually... Um, uh, only Canadian reviews. This I'm located in Canada, and you can, I s s seem to cannot s show you the see the reviews for all countries. But if I look at the U.S. version of the store, there's a lot more reviews here. But I can't seem to change it without having to change my entire uh, OS region, or I could visit the U.S. store on the web. Um, but yeah, so there's another game here, and I could see if the the games have loaded, so you could see activity feed of what other people have done, friends who played this game, achievements, and captures, screenshots and videos. So there you have it. And the same with Forza Motorsport. Let's take take a look at some apps then this time. Let's do Facebook. Again, same layout, nothing, no actual background in this case but you could see friends who play this game <laughs> this is strange because it's not a game but okay um, but same screenshots minimum requirements but let's see if I change go to VLC player play playable on it's yeah so it's a PC it seems to think everything is a game which is strange if I do um, Facebook messenger here should see PC and phone. Yep. 
rated teen. Oh, yep, yeah, you need to be 13 or older to use Facebook Messenger. Okay, so let's download an app and see what the experience is like. So here's some collections here. Um, we have, uh, let's see, let's tr download AidZip. It's a paid app, I believe. As you can see, it, it's on sale currently. Um, there's a $23.19 app, and it's currently is almost 90 over 90% 90 off. Um, and but I already own the app. It's 94% off. It says seven days remaining until the sale's over. But I already own the app. I purchased it earlier on. And here you could see what devices this plays on: PC, mobile, Hololens, and Surface Hub. Uh, the only thing missing is, is the only thing missing is an Xbox. So let's install it. And so starting download. And this progress bar takes on your accent color. My accent color is blue. So as you can see, it's downloading. And I could go there and see the downloading. And you could see your past history as well. So you could see your app up, app up, app update history. So that's very useful actually. And you could see this. Oh. Oh, so this is nice. Um, interesting. It asked me to change my storage device because it didn't let me download on my uh, secondary hard drive. But I it change where you inst yeah. This is what I was talking about. This app seems to be install installed in the internal storage. May we override your current preference and install in the internal storage? Yes. So starting download and this should finish downloading and we should see the experience but I like that we have a history of past installs and you could click on one of these apps to go to its listing and you could see which uh, devices OneDrive works on retrieving user data installing completed and this there's a problem with the notification. If I sh click the notification, I expect the app to launch, not take me to the store page. But yes, the app works fine. This is a good app, by the way. It it uses the seven zip uh, engine to um, it uses the seven seven zip st source code to make this app work. It's very useful, especially on mobile. So yeah, so there you have it, guys. Windows Store.